Hello and welcome back. So, as of right now, I have absolutely nothing on my face. I haven't moisturized, I haven't primed, I haven't done anything. And this is because I want to talk to you guys because the most important thing about having your makeup look good and your and for it to last a long time, yes, primers on and your makeup and, and all of that stuff play a very large role. But I want to take a second and just talk about your face and your body and what you're putting in. Water, 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 hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. That is honestly one of the most important things that you can do for your face to look good and for your face to hold on to that makeup. You want to make sure that your face is... Uh, I have a cracked lip. <laughs> Thanks to my two-year-old. Uh, you want to make sure that your face is healthy and your body is healthy. That's what's honestly most important. Because there is no primer in this world. There is no makeup in this world. No matter how expensive it is. No matter how cheap it is. No matter how anything it is. No matter how raved about it is. That is going to last long or look good on your skin. If your skin is not good from within. So make sure you hydrate. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> make sure you hydrate, drink lots of water. Make sure you take your vitamins, you take care of yourself, you give yourself a good nighttime and daily routine. That is key to making sure all of this works. So let's get started. These are things that work for me when I want my skin to look dewy and healthy and and for my makeup to just last all day because at the end of the day, that is what we want. We want our makeup not only to look good, but for it to last. And that is the key. So, let's get started. I wanted to give this coconut water cream a shot. I received this in the boxy charm this month. And I thought, I was like, hmm, coconut water is meant to hydrate. It's one of the best things in the world. Like, if I ever get stranded somewhere, I put a god that it's like, I'm on the, I mean, I don't want to get stranded anywhere. But if I were to get stranded somewhere, I would love for that to be like on like a deserted island with lots of coconuts. Uh, in short coconut trees, because I ain't climbing nowhere to get no coconuts. So if it's not in a short coconut tree, I'm stumped or dead or dehydrated. Let's not call it dead because I'm going to survive this. But it might take me a little bit. This cream smells so good. I promise you guys, like. I wish there was like smell of vision. I'm just gonna put that all in. Oh, it smells so good, I swear. Oh. Put that on your neck. Always remember, moisturize your neck too. Your hands and your neck are usually the first signs of aging. So usually your hands will show a lot of like age spots and sun spots. So you wanna make sure that all of that is well taken care of so that we hide our age as much as possible. I'm still in my 20s, I'm okay. But we wanna hide our age as much as possible. Because <laughs> if you look good and all of a sudden you haven't taken care of your hands, but you look like you're 30 or 20 in your face and your hands look like they're 50, that's not pretty. You wanna make sure all of, you wanna make sure you take care of all of your stuff, not just your face. <laughs> I feel like I'm like, blah, 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 blah. I feel like this video is going to be a hundred hours long just because I feel like talking today. Like my husband's taking care of the baby, so I feel like I'm talking him today. I'm already at like four minutes and I'm like, I haven't even started. I'm just going to let this sink in and I love it. Like this absorbs so fast. Like right now, like my face feels dry already. Look at that. It already kind of like, look at how, how moisturized it already looks. Ooh, I like that. I like that very much. Next, I'm going to go in because I want to try this out. This is the Becca Bag Backlight Priming Filter. And I got this in one of the little things, more than a primer. It's the secret behind iconic Becca Glow. Ooh, that's a lot of good fancy words. Mm. I want to try this because, like I said, I'm coming up on a trip now in August. Something for August that we are going to Tennessee. And we are going for a wedding and I want to make sure that I have the things that I need for my makeup to last all day long. So, let's see. Now, obviously, you don't want to look dewy, especially in Tennessee in the summer months. It can get um, 
Whoa. Oh, this is definitely gonna make my eyes glowy. Uh, <laughs> in the Tennessee, it gets more dry air compared to down here in Florida. Ooh, hoo, hoo. so I want to make sure that. Whoa, I want to make sure that I am my skin or that I'm taking the, the proper things I need to make sure I look as glowy and as healthy as possible. Even though my skin is pretty darn healthy. Whoa. Talk about an intense glow. Look at this, guys. Wow. I really like this. I like this. I like that very much. Yeah, let me just bother with this. <laughs> okay. Oh, love. So, I wanted to try these Cover Effects glitter drops, but I wanted to try them just to highlight underneath my foundation. The first time I'm gonna try this, but that is so fun. Ooh, I'm just gonna do two drops because this is like intense. And I'm literally just gonna put this on like my high points. So I'm just gonna technically highlight with this. Ooh. And I'm gonna blend that right in to that prime. Wow, that is really, really pretty. And as you can see, I'm using just a little bit. And I don't want to go too nuts because it is glitter gl drops. And I don't want to look like some crazy bitch. <laughs> Even though on most days, a lot of people would say I look like one. <laughs> oh, love. Put just the smallest little bit down the nose. Just a tiny bit on the tip of the nose. I'm gonna take the rest off. It's definitely, it's a one drop type of primer. Or, yeah, definitely a one drop. Because, like, I, my hands are even, like, you know, the camera could pick it up. They're very, um, this is definitely a one drop type of. Look at that. Now, let's, now the ultimate test is that it comes through my foundation. And I'm gonna be using the new little Sephora Nighttime, whatever it's called. What is it? Twinkle Sponge. I wanted to try it out. I wanted to see if it's actually good. And as usual, just my makeup. I, I'm gonna buy the big one. I, 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 I promise. I just can't wrap my head around. <laughs> but I am, I am, I am. With the little flat part, now we are going to pat that in everywhere. I feel like this is definitely putting a lot more product on my skin than the Beauty Blender. And I don't know how I feel about that. It's not ugly, like it's not doing a bad job. But I feel like I'm gonna prime my eyes with this. But you can see like, ooh, the glitter drops are really coming through. I feel like this product didn't absorb as much product as. And guys, please don't forget your ears. A lot of people like forget, like leave the ears unattended. <laughs> don't forget your ears and obviously to bring it down your neck. You gonna make sure that everything is blended out nicely. Hmm. I don't feel like it did a bad job. I'm just trying to like zoom in like, to like my problem areas. Mm -mm. I don't feel like usually this right here is my biggest problem area no matter what I use I've talked about it before like product no matter what product will sit right there <sighs> and it drives me nuts because it feels like somebody literally just grabbed the cake and went <laughs> onto like my forehead between my eyebrows so like it's very very annoying but i feel like it did a nice job at like blending everything out and it didn't like i feel like it did a very nice job actually 
Okay. So far, so good. Question over. So far, so good. I am going to go in with my concealer. I'm not going to put too much because, again, I don't want it to, like, cover. Again, and I am just going to blend all of that out. I don't, I'm not a huge, like, setting of my face, and I think for this look, I'm going to have to. Even if it's just the tad. Oh my god, but look at that intense glow, though. Woo! And it's not just this section. It's pretty much my whole face. I really like that primer. Really, really like that primer. I'm going to try out the other one, too, but so far, 100% like winning. Like as my face, ooh, ooh. I really like it. Just whatever is left on the. I'm just gonna bring that up. Wait, I'm not gonna put too too much. Okay, I'm definitely gonna set my face because I feel like things are gonna move. <laughs> I'm not gonna set it too much, but I feel like I definitely need to set my face. Ooh, I just made a mess. So I am going to use just a nice big fluffy brush. I'm not going to get too crazy. This is the Precision Tapered Brush from Luxie, the 640. 640. And I'm just going to go into these two. God, I need to buy another one of these two. So many things I gotta buy. I'm just going to use that to set right here. I don't want, again, like I said, I don't want too much. So definitely I'm going in with a very, very loose brush. I just lost an eyelash. And then I'm going to go straight into bronzing my face. Again, same palette, these two colors, and then my Sigma F30. And this is what I'm going to use to set the perimeter of my face. Oh, but still, look at that glow. Mama leg. Whoa, I just, I just aggravated a lot of baby hairs. <laughs> they were like, look. Oh, still that highlight though. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna get over it because I feel like I'm just talking too much about the highlight, but my face looks very, very dewy. I'm gonna go in again with the top color. I'm gonna set the bottom side of my face. Again, I am not contouring. I am just literally setting everything quick and easy. Look at how pretty. Mm. I'm going to do my eyebrows real quick. And I'm just going to use my Anastasia pencil. The brow is... It's the brow is one. I don't know what the other one's called. Oh my god, my hair. One day, guys, I will do, like, an intense brow tutorial. And what I do if I ever, which is rare, if I ever want to do, like, an intense brow, or, like, a nice actual cut, sealed. But for most occasions, I just put it on the tip of my eyebrow, and that's about it. <laughs> Something else I have to buy is I have to buy my brow gel. I don't... I'm gonna go on like a severe Sephora haul and actually like restock because I feel like for this haul I concentrated so much on things that I'm gonna be taking to Tennessee since it was the sale I was like you know what why not what better time that I really didn't concentrate on stocking up on like things that I use on an everyday type of basis since I'm here right Yeah. 
couple of bothersome. <laughs> I am going to go in with the Alamar Cosmetics. We just got this on the BoxyCharm, but I wanted to give it a second shot because my first perception of it was not the best. I'm going to go into Seclusion. I feel like it's just a waste of product for no reason. Like, look at this. Like, I don't know if you can see all of that fall off. I guess it has some, some color. I'm talking about a lot, but it has some color. Whatever, I'm not a big blush person anyways. <laughs> Alrighty, now for my eyes, I was gonna go in, or I am gonna go in, with the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill um, Volt Collection. I'm gonna go in with Armed and Gorgeous and Dark Magic. Dark Magic meaning the main color, but Armed and Gorgeous, I am just gonna use VIP, uh, VIP for the highlight, just because I really like that one. And then also top secret, I think it was the green. I might go into that one as well. Not really sure at this point, so just go with it. Mm. Why is the Red Bull always gone? If anybody can name me down below, what movie is that from? It doesn't say rebel. It says something else. If anybody can name that down below, I love you. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're gonna go in with this one is the dark magic one. These pretty colors, and we're just gonna go into this one right here, which is called Poof. I don't know why she named this one Poof, but here's what it is. And I am going to put that all over my lid as my transition color. Oh, I am using a Luxie Tapered Blending. And all over, all over the place. Remember, you want this color to be as blended out as possible. And I am bringing this as high, or this one pretty high. Because I want to make sure that all the rest of the colors that I put in blend in nicely. And this is just going to help all of that do it. blending windshield wiper motions windshield wiper motions okay now i'm gonna go in with shh, this shade right <laughs> this shade right here i'm just gonna add just a little with the same brush i'm just gonna keep that i'm gonna bring that a little high but not too too crazy and again blend 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 use it if your hand doesn't hurt after you did your makeup you failed Put that back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Circle, circle, circle. And this is again for just a little bit of dimension. So incorporate a couple of browns because I am going to bring in a lot of greens on this one. I don't know why I woke up this morning and I was feeling the color green. So I was like, hmm, why not? Just a little tiny bit. Oh, that hurts already. Now I'm gonna go in with potion and then I'm gonna go in with inside job. Or where, let me see, because I'm contemplating on which of the two, either potion or top secret. You know what? Let's blend them. So I'm gonna use potion from the dark magic and the other one top secret from the armed and gorgeous, armed and gorgeous, and same brush. Go blend them two together. Why not? I'm gonna put that all over the eye. Okay, if it brings down a little bit, that's fine. We are not bringing this too high up. I still want that brown to show.
and the center of the eye is still kind of blank. So again, potion, top secret, potion, top secret, potion, top secret, tap, and again on the other eye. so hot in this room i feel so bad for my dog like because i close the door when i'm filming so that i don't bother my son or my husband since they're watching tv outside or playing or at this point i don't know but like it is so stinking hot in this room like i'm torturing them but i see though so we are gonna put away the armed and gorgeous for now and we are going to go into inside job, which is this very, very deep green. I'm going to go in with a smaller blending brush. This one right here, which is dirty. I need to clean all my brushes. I just haven't had any time. Probably clean them tonight. This one is the mini tapered. And I'm going to tap this product. Okay. Remember, you want to start off with small amounts and then build your way because you can add product but you cannot remove it always remember that and i'm only going to bring that almost halfway i'm not bringing that high up on the eye and i'm just blending it right there and all in the inside corner just a little tiny bit more i want this to be a little bit more intense especially in that outside corner Uh, you guys can hear them outside doing who knows what at this point. Oh, yes. Okay. Next, other eye again. Start off slow and build. To the eye. Oh, yes. Love. Perfect. I am going to go in with another tapered brush. Uh, I'm going to go in with another tapered blending. This is a 205 with absolutely no product. And I am just going to blend out all of those edges on the top. Windshield wiper motions all at the top. Just like that, like that, it buffs it out just a little bit more. perfect and then because i am me and i feel like in every possible video that i can i do do this we're obviously going to go into glitter we are going to go into trickery which is this one up here and i am going to get my mac prep and prime you're going to wet 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 Since I did my face, I don't want any fallout. And so far, I have absolutely no fallout from either one or either any of these products. So I don't need to start with the glitter. I feel like I need to put in a little gold in this too, just to make it pop even more. Or, I know what I'm going to use. I know what I'm going to use. Oh, 
Pokemon of Smokey Eye. I know what I'm going to use. If I already knew where it was, it's right here. Are you ready? 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 Ah. Okay, I'm sorry, I really, really like this. <laughs> this is the Mush by Villains Dr. Facilier Colourpop, and it is the Not Today. Look at that perfect green. I'll dab my pinky into this. A nice little amount. Oh, yeah. Just so this looks needed. Something about glitter that is so worth it. So satisfying. Come on, guys. Oh. It's amazing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Got a little carried away. Oh, love. I'm obsessed. It's an issue. Ugh. Okay. I'm gonna go in with my Marc Jacobs in black. I'm going to tight line and do it all over the water like I go. Because I am not gonna be adding falsies or liner to this. Why? I don't know. Don't, 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 don't question. My madness. Now, I'm going to use my favorite combination. This one is the Essence I Love Extreme and then the London Double Decker Lashes. I'm going to go in with, I'm going to go in with a Double Decker first. That. And then I'm going to go with the essence. I am not going to be putting any on my bottom lashes just because I don't feel the need. And even though I am quite highlighted, we're going to go in with more because <laughs> why not? I'm going to go with something a little bit more subtle. This is the YSL. I'd read the name, but I would be lying to you. I don't want to lie to you. So I am going to go in with the Luxie Tapered Highlighting Brush. I think this is the only brush that I actually use with, for what it's called. I'm gonna add just a little bit more because more is better. Oh, yes. Oh, my cell. Oh, come on. Tell me that is not good. Perfect. I am going to go in with the Kylie Jenner Harmony Lip Liner. i got to sharpen this. I'm going to fill in the outer.
filling in the outer is also going to give you a little bit more of a powdery look. And then I completely, I need to sharpen this. Okay, so I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back and it is sharpened. I feel like what I did is like... Do the upper lip. As you can see, like my bottom lip already looks bigger. So all you want to do is, when you line your lips, you shade in the corners, the top and the bottom. And I'm not overlining my lips whatsoever. I don't. I don't do that. I mean, I'll do that, but I don't really do that. And then drawing one line across the center of your lip. Yeah, and this one's back a little bit. And because, you know, I am me. I'm not sure which one to go with. Hmm. Okay, let's just do this. I am gonna go in with the color pop. What's your sign? I believe this one is the Kathleen Hill. Kathleen, Kathleen Hill, Kathleen Lights. I keep, confu I keep combining Jacqueline Hill and Kathleen Light. I'm sorry guys I'm sorry for the noise also they are finishing up or still working on the carport that I'm closing so like it's a mess I'm gonna use some max prep and prime just to kind of go over everything and kind of cover my eyes and I am done So as usual, things like this only happen to me. Well, that's not true. It happens to everybody. But <laughs> um, the whole ending of my video kind of deleted itself. So I just finished taking off all of the makeup. I did all of my skincare. I was about to hop in bed to start editing this video. And then I was like, <sighs> whatever. It is what it is. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. I would love to talk with you guys. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.